Yay! Introductions! Call me Deadpool. Alrighty, this is a review of the Gambit from Marvel Legends Series 4. Uh, it's pretty cool. It came with this. I'm assuming this is a Sentinel hand. If I'm wrong, someone else let me know. I apologize. If I am, I think it's a Sentinel hand, but that was the background. Uh, it came with cards. I lost the cards. It came with a pole. I lost the pole. I have extra Donatello pole. I might just paint it. But this figure was pretty cool. It looked just like him. His nose got a little messed up because I used to play with it like a whole bunch. But uh, as you can see, it's pretty cool. Let's talk about the actual articulation. Legs like had the little bending. I love how all Marvel Legends toy have that. Ankle could bend. It twists here, which is a little different. Men's here at the knees on a ball joint and they turn completely around. Do that I crunch. Not that he needs to do any. They made this one rip. Oh, uh, mm, looks like he's in a rock band. Mm, mm. Sorry, all my gamut fans. Arm could look like he could actually grip whatever you put in it. But yeah, this part was flexible. It also is flexible here. Arms could bend. They're on a ball joint too. Could go all the way around either way. I've had this for like <laughs> a really long time so I feel like it's a little bit more loose than usual these bend here bending action here head can turn as you can see they did pretty good detail as far as the face goes his face looks awesome has that rugged look just like the Wolverine figure his hair eyes are red I don't know if you can tell my camera can only zoom in so far you take this off he looks really small um so but he just is really like bendable. He's really small too. They made him like real skinny. I don't know if the actual one was this skinny. But yeah. I love how they used to come out. He actually came. This is how Marvel Legends used to have it. They came with an actual scenery. Not only did they come with the scenery. They also came with the book. And they came with the figure. And then the figure came with a lot of stuff. That's why I loved Marvel Legends. Because they came with so many different things. But this one came out a, a few years. 2000. Might be 2003 or 2000. I think it was 2003. It came out a long time ago. For the movie. For any of that stuff. I just thought he was awesome. Gambit was always cool in my book. And I used to watch the series. And read some of the comic books. But once you have this thing. You can set them up. You know any way that you had wanted and he just was cool he was an awesome mutant man he was two thumbs up in my book so as you can see he's pretty articulated they also had it where you know it was a lot of uh good little detail put into him i love how they did the light purple the light blue i love how you know his his, his tights are black that's pretty awesome i just love this costume and how they portrayed him in this figure he came out awesome so yeah this has been a good review of the Marvel Legends Gambit from Series 4. I would pick up this figure if you're a shoe fan of Gambit. They came out with a Marvel Select one, which his was pretty cool, but I really like this one because he was flexible. But I'm going to pick up the other one too and do a review on that one soon. But yeah, this has been my review of Gambit, and I hope y'all enjoyed. Y'all have a good one. Alright. Thank you for your cooperation and watching.